We are back in ClickSlow settings to get our custom domain set up. So, in here under settings, domains, still with that last pass, add new domain. So this is where I would put in whatever it is. I already have mine, but I'll just put it as an example here. Before you click add, you have to go over to where you purchased your domain and set this up. When you're looking at your domains, you're going to click Manage and DNS, Manage Custom Records, and this is where you're going to add this in. So it says make sure to have either an A record or a C name pointing. I usually do the C name one. I don't I don't know what difference it makes, honestly. I might have to look that up, but I haven't seen any issues with it. So, we have new one. Create new record, but basically it's this one. So you put in www, no dot, C name, pointing to here. What this is gonna do is when somebody types in your domain, and there's no reason why it's still showing a Kartra thing at the top there. That www kind of acts like it's a subdomain. So you also have to set up forwarding so that if somebody just types in that, that they're still going to get redirected to the www because it's all dependent on www. If you already have a www dot for your site, you can also put something else in here. You can put something like, and then if somebody types in, it would take them there. So that's a subdomain. You put anything you want there. So, uh, but for the default, we're going to put the www. And once you do that and click add, it should show up right away. It's going to tell you that it could take up to 48 hours to populate. But my experience is if it doesn't populate within the first few seconds, probably something's wrong and go back and, and try again in your site. So you can create a new website, but this is all the pages for that site. With settings here, I can pick my domain. So this is the one that I have set up, and then I save it. Something that I have recently realized is that the memberships fall under a different uh, domain. So when you are setting up your membership to have a custom domain, you can, here I just bought a whole new domain to go with it, but this is a great place to put that subdomain like this. So now we're going to make another CNAME record and we're going to put that courses in, but we're going to have it go to this for the domain instead of this. And then once you have that, goes to the courses that are set up in ClickSlow. So there isn't a limit. You can set up lots and lots of domains if you if you have them. Domains are pretty cheap. Um, I wouldn't spend more than like $50 a year on a domain and a lot of mine are more like, you know, $10 a year. Um, so sometimes it's worth just grabbing a few if it's something that you want to use in the future. And again, for forwarding, that's also going to be in wherever you purchased your domain thing. So I have domain forward. If somebody types in financiallyfreeauthor.com, then it will redirect them to www.financiallyfreeauthor.com. And that is pretty much it.